Recently, we brought together the refugee coordinators from around the world for several days to exchange best practices. Those refugee coordinators are at the cutting edge of American diplomacy and are working directly with beneficiaries and humanitarian partners on the ground. We had the chance to speak to some of them about their experiences. Um, so I think the most meaningful lately we've been working with um, a lot of cases of unaccompanied minors, um, some who've been in detention for quite a while, and being able to get those children through what is a long and, and sometimes difficult resettlement process and actually seeing them finally depart for a new life in the United States is really rewarding after so much work has gone into it. We spend a lot of time, as the title implies, coordinating. So we work with UNHCR, we work with the International Organization for Migration, uh, from Nepal, we do a lot of resettlement of the Bhutanese refugees, so coordinating all of their movements and their case processing, and at the same time, the assistance that's given to them while they're in the camps is a big part of our work. We also have a big Tibetan population in Nepal and in India. We provide a lot of assistance to them that goes toward education and health care and other livelihoods development. So we spend a lot of time coordinating with the Tibetan NGOs and looking for ways that they can be more effective. We also have a lot of urban refugees in all three of the countries that I work in, so we provide assistance to them and in some cases resettlement assistance as well. One of my most memorable experiences was visiting the refugee camps in Nepal. We woke up very early one morning and went out to the camps to see the very moment when the refugees pack their bags and put them on the buses and head out to their, their new lives in the United States. So the entire families were there, they were waving off the buses, people were crying and hugging and kissing and it was a very moving experience. I come from Minnesota, and we have a really long history there of welcoming refugees, and they have made such an enormous contribution to our state that come from all around the world. And what PRM does for refugees around the world is really extraordinary, and I wanted to be a part of that. I enjoy the work. Um, I feel like it's something that um, is important and, that, and, and something in which you can see, um, see the effect that your work has on, on the people who you're, uh, you're helping. As the Regional Refugee Coordinator for Syrian Refugees in Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria, my main responsibility is to oversee our programming of emergency humanitarian assistance. And that mainly includes through our main partners, UNHCR, ICRC, and IOM. We also provide life-saving assistance through NGOs. And generally, these partners target the most needy Syrians, the vulnerable Syrians, including women, children, elderly, who've arrived within sometimes hours from the border, and other times refugees who are in need years, within one or two years after arrival. The refugee crisis um, has had an impact on all aspects of Jordanian life and host communities. One memorable experience as the refugee coordinator was going to the far eastern border of Jordan with Syria. This is about a five hour drive from Amman, Jordan, and this is where most Syrian refugees are crossing into Jordan. Syrian refugees who come here have often had a 10 day journey, crossing through checkpoints, paying bribes of sometimes up to $1,000 to get to the border. And so g going on this mission with IOM, we were able to see firsthand assistance that IOM and ICRC are providing to Syrians who've cr who are crossing the border and coming to Jordan, which is in many ways a safe haven for them where they can escape this violence. I took the position because I wanted to see a practical side of diplomacy. I wanted to see how our U.S. government assistance actually supports and helps people in need. And I wanted to be a part of all of that. On a given day, um, what's great about this job is you can always, you're always doing something different. So maybe one day I'm in Addis, I'm talking to people at UNHCR, the UN refugee agency that, that takes care of refugees all over the world, uh, having meetings, uh, trying to understand what's happening in the camps in Ethiopia. And on another day, maybe I'm out in a camp in South Sudan, a refugee camp in South Sudan, looking at the conditions that refugees are living in and trying to see how we can help better assist these refugees and make their lives a little bit better. I think one of the most um, gripping things about being a, a refugee coordinator in the field is the opportunity to go out and actually sort of see beneficiaries, to go to the refugee camps, to understand uh, the terrible situations that have got them there, and then see how the money that we are providing to our partners um, is helping them to get them to a place where they're not uh, 
uh, they can start rebuilding their lives. There's often a very tangible link to the beneficiaries and you can see how U.S. assistance is truly making lives better, uh, saving lives, um, taking the most vulnerable people and, and getting them to a point where they're safe, they're fed, they're warm. You know, to go to a school full of, of Syrian refugee children uh, and their happy, smiling children, of course they have numerous challenges, but they're getting on with their lives and they have textbooks in front of them and they're, they're, they're learning. And it's, it's a truly fulfilling thing.